It's a sad moment for the uh, Middle Georgia community. Tension was high at the Macon Music Hall of Fame. People anxiously awaited the hall's fate during a teleconference Tuesday. Claire Hillard. Uh, I decline. David Barbie. Decline. With four votes, the authority turned down the $800,000 offered by Newtown Megan to keep doors open for another year. The museum opened 15 years ago and houses musical history unique to Macon. This thing is not a tourist destination. It has not ever been. Three authority members said they thought the funding would be enough to keep the hall open. The state has absolutely nothing to lose, and we have the opportunity to have a huge success story. Executive Director of the Music Hall of Fame, Lisa Love, said that there are about 30,000 different artifacts like these in the museum, only 1 to 2 percent of which are from lenders. Most of the collection will be housed at the University of Georgia. I don't want it to be like a funeral. You know, this has been a part of my family for 15 years, and it's been a part of this community. And I think I'd rather see people celebrate it. From Little Richard to the Allman Brothers, from Otis Redding to the Kazoo, the hall's music will come to an end in less than three weeks. Caitlin Rowe, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News.